live from the fourth quadrant of Austin, where the water is clear, except for the remnants of Brian's bubble mohawk, it's going to be a great night. Now, don't segregate between your Austin Senators and your Austin Black Senators, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Highly recommended. Oh, I, 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 I got, yes, I know. I got, I got word from a friend. <laughs> Which friend? <laughs> Doug. From college? <laughs> no, the other Doug. I haven't seen him since high school. <laughs> no, he said you used to work together at the High V. <laughs> I, I don't know, but he winked when he said it. <laughs> The Albertsons. Uh, yeah, that, that tracks. That was around 2012. Hello, beautiful people. Are you guys ready to do a show? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that was one enough. person. I huh? feel like that was enough. Yeah. <laughs> <Good night. laughs> Too much effort. Good night, ben. 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 Yeah. I, I did have Play one. Play the lullaby. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, what would we learn? Uh, man, that Taylor... But fuck Ziggy. Listen to the green room. Yep. <laughs> Please. It's a lot of. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's good exactly. stuff. It's yeah. good stuff. Yeah. Uh, Bryce. Yes. What's uh, the first no, 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 wait. No, no foreplay. No, nothing. No, nothing. I mean, like, we, like, literally, we literally hugged each other, slow danced, and, <laughs> and winked. At, like, get on over here. Just keep keep the music going. No. Keep the music going. Here no. we go. All right. We can build out this universe. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, what have you been up to? <laughs> well, I got laid off. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, these fuckers. Is it because of inflation? <laughs> yup. <laughs> <laughs> it's the second bowl of cereal. It's like, it's you had a really good, good, good bowl, bowl of cereal. Yeah. And now it's all soggy. It's the second we bowl of done cereal. It. Yeah. Uh, all right. Price first stop. <laughs> Brian's wake up call. Oh. Dong, ding, dong. Uh, Justin, for anybody joining us uh, that's new to the show, how would you describe my relationship with uh, sleep? Tenuous. <laughs> so, so, so. It, Touch it, and go. It, it's a bit of a, <laughs> an accomplishment for me to uh, uh, get a full night, right? Uh, I'll put it this way there has been enough times that I've randomly had conversations that were not about sleep with Brian that involve him having a toss and turn night, realizing that his dogs and children are awaking. So he flees his house <laughs> and comes to this studio. It's so a real thing. Sleep. Like it's happened so often in conversations that are not about that. Just randomly, like, like, the, like the, I'm like, hey, uh, 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 are we going to have these uh, files for World's Greatest Con? And he's like, ah, well, you know, I had a toss and turn night, and uh, <laughs> it was about 4 o'clock. I realized that my dogs and children were awake, and I came here. So, yes. And it's like, <laughs> All right, if you're saying that, then that means that shit happens constantly. Uh, so, uh, a couple nights ago, I uh, uh, try to go to bed early because I know we got a big day on Monday. Yep. So uh, I, 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 I get to bed around uh, just before 10 o'clock. Actually, clock out, according to my uh, smartwatch, at around 11. Oh, but that's the other thing is that... Oh, I'm you, obsessed. You are, you are obsessive. Yep. The reason why you, uh, despite having an iPhone, will not get an Apple-integrated Apple Watch is because yep. it does not stay up with you all night and obsessively track... How shittily you're sleeping. Yep. Uh, you are you are you are obsessed with seeing exactly how bad you're sleeping. I assume because, and rightly, you don't want to feel like you're gaslighting yourself when you wake up and you're like, did I sleep like a bag of shit? Let's see the metrics. I'm like, and it's like, you've slept like a bag of shit. <laughs> it's like, thank you, computer. <laughs> or alternately, it's like, no, bro, you slept great. I'm like, haha, I was faking. I just stayed real still. <laughs> uh, but uh, so in, th in this case, uh, I, I, I went to bed before 10. I did fall asleep before 11, like on track for a great night's sleep. Uh... I have a new computer in in the in in the media room where I sleep, uh, and uh, it it fills the whole room with a red glow. It was the first oh, night that uh, no. the red glow was going to be on, and I was like, uh, "It'll be fine." 
Yeah. Uh, so I, 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 I'm sleeping in the Death Star taint. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, right? Uh, so so uh, fall asleep before 11, 12.03. 12.03. Oh, of course awaken, he knows like the exact minute. Yeah. I awaken to red lights. A hurricane has befallen our house. Not today. There, uh, <laughs> a hurricane. <laughs> Apologies to everybody in Florida. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. A cyclone. A tornado. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, has, has, uh, a tornado has struck just this room, and I uh, I awaken to to manic energy uh, and the sensation of soft plastic mashed against my sleeping face, and as I wake up. It's mashed in my face again, and I realize that 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 this soft plastic is 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 folding as it mashes in my face, and then I hear the breathing of the masher <laughs> and the red lights and the chaotic energy and the <laughs> smashing in my face. Now this is the part where I'm am, am I having a nightmare? What is it? Yeah. And then I open my eyes and I see the fastest. Tail I've ever seen wagged from the happiest Weimaraner who escaped in the middle of the night, immediately <laughs> raided the kitchen on a carb run, grabbed a <laughs> loaf of bread, <laughs> discovered that the gate was open, ran upstairs at midnight full of joy, and smashed bread in my face. <laughs> Wanted to share it. Wanted Very to share happy. It with you. Very happy. It's like, shit, bro, you know bread yeah. out here? <laughs> <laughs> and so, oh, the fucking bread is free, dude. And the tails just, and, and and I know, I know this much. At twelve oh three, after I just woke up in the middle of a red warning, it's 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 a code red emergency. And I I grab the bread, and uh, very clearly, joyful is like the tugging game. What a great idea! <laughs> Uh, so now you're trying to pull the bread away from her, and it's getting tighter. And then I was like, oh, no, no. <clears throat> Thank you. Instant release. Like, pretty good, right? That's bread. I got that. Yeah. Uh, so I, 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 I Pause. don't. Pause. We all know that we would have liked it <laughs> if the bread had comically split and <laughs> then oh. sent bread all over the room. Sure. Unfortunately, that's not what happened in reality. Right. We pick up this story right now. Uh, I am now holding the bread. The dog is very excited. I get out of bed, confused, and I begin to walk. I'm like, come on, come on, Joy. At which point she's like, the running game. That's a great one. (laughs) And begins to run around to all the rooms upstairs. And I go downstairs to to the grossly... 10 degrees warmer master bedroom where Bonnie is sleeping. Uh, and, and, I, and I open the door holding bread that's been nommed and with a dog running around. And I ask Bonnie, I'm like, oh, excuse me, sweetie. And she gets up and she goes, what is going on? And, and, and like a toddler, do you, want, do you want to describe what this was like, Bonnie? On mic. <laughs> Bonnie Bushwood, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Bonnie Brushwood uh, is here. Okay. I'm going to keep singing this song till Brian gets his <laughs> mic so we can continue the show. Go so, ahead, Bonnie. I don't know why Brian's testicles only make girls, but we have three <laughs> girls, right? <laughs> the fuck is happening? <laughs> What the fuck is happening? <laughs> just for the re- just in case, uh, Bonnie, you were talking about the bread story. I didn't know we were roasting my nuts now. <laughs> Why did you just Henry the Ape him? For God's sake. So we have all these girls, and then I wake up. This are, 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 are we doing? Are we doing? Are we doing a medieval Def Jam comedy? <laughs> <laughs> I say, sir. You know, testicles can be. I don't know why this. these motherfuckers always making girls. <laughs> <laughs> we got some girl balls. <laughs> so, so like I, I am Fuck used me. to being. Yo, my fellow bitch just trying to get some yeast up in here. What is this all about? Uh, the, all right. So, <laughs> <laughs> Leaky nipples, am I right? Okay. So moving right along. All right. Uh, so I am used to be 
being awakened rudely by girls <laughs> in the middle of the night. Yeah, like, children, you know, they yeah. come Because you, you have children we that have, need Yeah, we have three attention. children. Yes. And then like, mom, I threw up. Or mom, I scratched a boo-boo and I'm bleeding everywhere or whatever. And so it's just like, I'm, I'm, I'm used to this experience. But I wake up and I'm so confused because there's a little boy in my room. <laughs> no. And he's going... There's I'm bread. Gonna, I'm gonna make a point, Brian. You <laughs> asked her up here. You <laughs> and, also, I, and also, next time I ask about the bath, because <laughs> there is clearly a receipt. <laughs> And it is CVS oh my God. Like, Wait, Hold on. Here's the conspiracy theory is that Bobby is like, okay, girl, you run this upstairs to Brian. I'm going to get in bed and pretend not. to be asleep. And then so there's this little boy in the room going, there's bread. There's bread. And I'm just like, what is going on? And he's just like, I got, I don't know, Joy came and smashed bread in my face. And I'm like, I'm up, out of bed immediately, just as quick as vomit, you know, because I'm just like, quick as vomit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The old quicksilver. Wait, hold on. Bonnie, 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 Bonnie. Rank, rank your out of bed times. Yeah. Uh, of, 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 a mother, a mother getting out of bed speed wise. Uh, top is vomit. <laughs> oh. What, okay. what is what is the top? Somewhere what is the top? So the, the, the fastest thing? Yeah, what's the fastest, the fastest way you're thing out? Is, is just screaming, right? Probably. No, it no. <laughs> is my infant breathing? That's the thing that gets you out okay. of bed, you know. So, so like, it, you uh, don't, that, yeah. that, that's the top is right. is the infant breathing. <laughs> right, right, right. You're just like, uh, oh my god. What is what is the breathing. slowest? Yeah, so then, let's go to the other pole. What's, like, what's the one where you pretend to still be asleep? Yeah, is it is it when your husband comes down and just says there's bread? Well, no, because she got out. <laughs> I she got, got out, out. Yeah. really quick. <laughs> so <laughs> obviously that's in the middle, okay. and I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, baffling, <laughs> baffling. <laughs> Would be big. Yeah. yeah. So I the slowest. Would say that the, the, the slowest. The slowest is. The slowest is I want to drink a water. So I'm like, fuck you. You can get your own water. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, so like, so 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 one of the girls comes in and they're like, I want to drink a water, and you're half like about to do the like. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Oh, you know what's funny is I actually have that conversation too, but it's with myself. It's like I'm laying there in bed. I'm like, I want to drink a water. You're like, fuck you, me. I, I should have. I should have had it before. This is the problem. Paging Dr. Okay. Freud. Paging one Dr. Freud. <laughs> so what like, you little girl in my head? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> so like I, I didn't know that was self self confession <laughs> corner hour. Right. So the thing that I can't stand about this tenuous sleep that Brian exhibits. Oh my all goodness! Night. It is so frustrating because like every morning Wait, I get. Wait, you're sleep. frustrated that he sleeps too well. No, no, he doesn't. He he comes down and gives me a sleep report in the morning, and you apparently I do. are every, on the every, sleep every, every, every every single morning, fucking morning. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh no 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 no! For me for me it's yeah. it, it, it's sporadic. It, it is, is like sporadic. yeah. Oh, no, she she, she no, gets the, I, the dailies. I get the dailies, <laughs> and I get whatever weird dream is tacked on to that, and then and then he steals my bath, you know. But <laughs> green room, hey, green, right. room yeah. green room, green room. It's a story about the bread. Room, the right. In the green room. But, like, not only that, but then if I call his mother, she goes, Well, he didn't sleep oh so my... great last oh, night. God damn it. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> fucking... It's this whole brushwood thing about what the is happening. Okay. Uh, all right, Brett, uh, uh, questions from the audience. No, all right. I, I just like to say. New York Times, right over here. Yeah, I just right. like to say, EK. You're married to me. Okay. Are you are okay. you what? conducting a conversation with somebody off mic? No, I was just just then tell her to come how, over. How, tell her to come over. How, how great would this, that be if like I during a presidential to, briefing? Tell her to come over. Somebody you, you, flagged you're out. You're married to me. Yes, I am. Get on yep, mic. That's it. She is on mic. <laughs> no. I love you. That's it. I, oh, just, I heard you. all of this. Oh my god! And I was Brett, thinking, oh my god! <laughs> Were you asking for my input on your on your frustrating on the sleep on the, on the troubles frustration that I feel about your sleeping? Yes. yes. <laughs> Somebody give me a goddamn loaf of bread right now. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like this blew up in your face, Brett. Yeah. <laughs> Like you thought you were just going to it's make a fun thing time. about how your marriage was was uh, super great. Yeah, yeah. And apparently you have sleep problems too. EK, do you want to do you want to explain? You guys uh, can't see it, but Justin's tail is wagging so fast right now. 
Because <laughs> fucking eight hours. Solid. Yeah. Right. Since I was since I was fucking out of the womb. <laughs> oh my god. You woke up, you're like, hi mom. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Britt has the opposite of a sleep problem, and I think it's because you grew up you grew up with the youngest of five kids yep. in a house that always had at least two TVs on. Yes. So he can he can uh. just decide, I'm full of espresso, it's 9 p.m., whatever, I feel like sleeping, and he's out. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've, I've actually fallen asleep in front of the, the drums at the University of Houston marching band. Yeah. And my ba- that boring, huh? At the Astrodome. <laughs> at the Astrodome. Wow, and, what a slam. And, 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 and my band director was like, Brett, you need to wake up. Why? Because there's cameras in the Astrodome, <laughs> and you shouldn't be sleeping in front of the drums and the marching band. Oh, my gosh. And so this is, and then, like. Turns sleep- out they put it on the kiss cam, and somebody's like, never mind. Yep. So the sleep thing <laughs> is such a tragic story with Brian that I'm just like, I, I have. I have found Time magazines that say sleep demystified. And I I buy the $7 magazine and I put it in the toilet that he uses thinking, surely. (laughs) What's funny is not on the toilet. (laughs) In the the toilet. toilet. (laughs) Like Brian Brian will will open, open the toilet, take a shit and be like, Oh, oh my God! I had reading oh material. My God. That I I had the what whole an time. asshole! <laughs> Rapid my eye asshole. movement is the new wave of the future. Damn it! <laughs> I made all this shit. He's not even remarking about the magazine. He's just saying, "Oh my <laughs> asshole!" <laughs> That's right. What a machine! Yes, a demon God's came out of that creation. <laughs> We're just a tube. Humans are tubes. Yeah. All right. So anyway, so you were asking. Uh, you were so th- you see Brian uh, 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 begging and pleading for something. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I, I don't know in this story. I, I'm going to be the voice of the audience. I don't know why Brian came to you in the middle of the <laughs> night. It seemed like something oh. that he had now, all the information now, that he could handle. Well, well, while yeah. I eventually figured out that it was 12.03 a.m., uh, that way, I, that was early enough that there was a non-zero possibility that you know action was afoot in the rest of the house. So, uh, oh, so you initially thought that, that it might have been five something, and that was why the dog was right, out. or 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 like five minutes after I had fallen asleep, and there Got was that, that that this was a known feature of why Marano's running around with bread. No, I don't know. <laughs> You've had this I dog for a while. I think you yeah. would have seen the bread. Oh, she has a carb thing. She is, yeah. She likes carbs. Oh my god, yeah. No, that's the that's the thing. My my dog too, by the way. Oh my god, yeah. I have to put everything on top of the refrigerator, or she will break down kitchen doors to grab the loaf of bread or the pastries or whatever it is, and she's just like, "Am I?" Uh, Just side question. This is a true side question. Does your dog have uh, comically audible farts from those eating that bread? I didn't really put that together, but yes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That classic yeah, question, better. does your dog fart? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Survey do do- says <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, you forgot the part where you're like, a dog fart. <laughs> this is a family show. What? <laughs> Number one answer. <laughs> your and- dog does what? <laughs> so on the scale of, of I just... Is my infant sleeping or there's vomit, which is a, a 10. Yep. To to the zero of you uh, want a glass I, I of want water. I want a glass of water. Yeah. Right, right. Then we've got right below the top tier is something that interrupts Brian's sleep. Oh. Because. So that's high alert. That, that is. That, that, that is red alert. Said. Boom. Out of bed. We are solving things. Like, Brian, the. And I can't even believe you with the red light thing because I was like, oh, that was pretty dope. Oh my god, because he will leave. It's like, you I'm wear, sleep, are you aware of dope? Sleep, I'm sleeping in a warp core. You awesome. wear, oh you my wear god, a dope. Right? It's like I'm on a ship. I'm the dead. Like, I'm going to I'm, space. I'm crewing on the Cerritos. Yeah, Ooh. you know, like <laughs> California class. I'm just uh, saying that, like, it's <laughs> really now dope. We're all red. You know, like, so all the good, coolest bird. shit is. Like when Superman shoots his lasers, it's red. <laughs> and, this is probably and, what he sees. And Deadpool is red. And when the Terminator looks out his eyes, they're red. Red's a cool color. Oh my gosh. Does Ashley like this one? 
Oh, this voice? Could... Yeah, this voice. I don't know. We'll find out tonight. Yeah, yeah, we'll uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. We can give her a call. <laughs> keep, keep talking. Keep talking. Okay. So, uh, then, uh, so anyways, I am out of bed quickly going, my little boy needs help. Oh, right. <laughs> and yeah, then, uh, you start drawing a bath. And I got to say, it is all my fault because apparently I had put the C clamp because this dog is so motivated by carbs. That why, is why Marauders are very smart. Yeah. We figured out that being in the kennel with latch, 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 she figured out how to unlock, unlock, unlock. Yeah. So we literally have to put her in the kennel and then C clamp it shut in oh order <laughs> in order to keep her. She in can there. even like 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 we have one of these really tall oh, baby. Oh, we got breaking news. Okay. Hey, uh, 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 Bonnie's very curious if you like this voice. So, you know, like, I, I, you can just, like, red's the coolest color, obviously, because Deadpool's suit is red, and you can have a lot of red things that spill on the street when there's, <laughs> when, when, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> When Superman was killed by Doomsday, you saw red running through the gutters of Metropolis, and that's a very cool, uh, I iconic thing to say. Keep going, keep going. You can, Santa Claus is red. <laughs> Kane of the WWE, the Undertaker's brother, oh, when good. they wanted to say the Undertaker needed somebody cooler, they gave him a red suit and a red mask. Red good. is obviously the best color. You're never having sex. It's just she hung up. <laughs> 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 All right, get out of here, Bonnie. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Bonnie Brushman. <laughs> That's birth control. Hey, Bryce, here. do we have a second story? <laughs> 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 oh, no, I didn't put it on screen. Try wife, guys. <laughs> Try wife, guys. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Try wife, guys. Uh, so this is a thing that exploded on the internet uh, today. I didn't know a lot about the source material, but uh, I knew that Bryce was more familiar with it than I was. So please, Bryce, can you explain to us Bryce who explains. the Try Guys are? So the Try Guys are former BuzzFeed. It's like a, it used to be a BuzzFeed uh, YouTube show where they would go and do things. They would just go do they things. Would, would, yeah. would, would you go so far as to say they would try? They would try things. Yes. Yeah, yeah okay. they would try. But they were things. fun. I, I got the sense just from looking at the stuff today that they had, and, and I don't want to load this in terms of the concept of the other show, but like they had a little bit of a queer eye kind of element in that they were different personalities that were going to interact mm. with the same thing. And it was interesting to see how they interacted with the same experience. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, apparently one of the guys, uh, uh, is his name Ned? Uh, Ned is uh, a noted wife guy. Brian, how would you describe a wife guy? Uh, you're asleep and then bread is smashed <laughs> in your face. <laughs> <laughs> and then wife is smashed in your face <laughs> And then and you you're run like, downstairs What is with all this wife? <laughs> and you're like, I'm so glad you're my wife You're describing Okay So, Am I on the nose? Yeah, or? In, in all seriousness do you, do you, Are you familiar with the internet phrase wife guy? Uh, no, but I assume it's somebody who is constantly bragging About uh, having found the love of his life Yeah on, be it, Right, Bryce? Yeah, Wikipedia defines it as a wife guy is a man whose fame is owed to the content he posts about his wife. Wait, so so that's what he's most famous for is for having a wife? He's like he he and her wrote a cookbook together. They have worked together in creative and professional. That's elements. such bullshit, dude. Yeah, like, uh, uh, kids get married. <laughs> Yeah, kids, kids are out here at these churches, man. You can't like, be trying exactly. things. Like they arranged that shit. You didn't do make... nothing. Yeah. So I think the idea colloquially is more that you're never more than five seconds away from saying a thing about my wife. I did this thing with my wife. My wife said the other day, I'm so proud of my wife. There's like, there is a, a constant uh, reference to the other. Uh, Bryce, as soon as we're done, we're going to have a conversation about the order of these stories. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about why we didn't have a longer one today. But uh, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, 
Your only note on that other story was Ryan wakes up. <laughs> so, so and also the funny thing about your you would never be a wife guy because Bonnie just happens to be trailing whatever calamity you're causing. Oh my gosh. Is part of being a wife guy is that your wife calls you a little boy on the internet? No! <laughs> that totally separates you okay, good. from the concept of a wife guy. <laughs> I don't believe that at any moment uh, uh, the 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 aforementioned Ned ever had his wife on the BuzzFeed YouTube channel saying, "Anyway, this little child I happened to marry after stealing my bath, <laughs> who stole my bath and then ran to me with a handful of bread." <laughs> You know what? I'm full of tears. You know what, Brian? <laughs> Brian, I hear it now. I hear what's going on with the order of the. T I'm hearing it, and I'm 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 processing. <laughs> okay. So, but uh, uh, we we have more differentiating facts between you and Ned here. Okay. So uh, uh, apparently the apparently the story is that Ned had a quote consensual affair. Is that how he described it? I believe uh, so. Yes. Uh, I'm. Anyway, uh, I had a consensual workplace relationship, uh, he says, uh, with uh, one of the producers of Try Guys, uh, and uh, that made things weird. <laughs> is, is, is this so, one so of those things? On. This is how I, I understood it today on the internet. Uh, there was a big thing on Reddit because the Try Guys subreddit blew up, and I knew this because I follow our subreddit dramas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Second, which, which, nice. oh my god, it's a great I, thread, the greatest fucking place ever. Uh, you yeah. know so much about about the world, Summer, uh, and, and ninety percent of it is like reading the Old Testament. <laughs> it's it, it just like and and Jada begot Jada, <laughs> and then Jada said, "You slut," and then and then like, like, you have no happened. idea what the fuck it is. But everybody's very mad, and the thread is nine hundred posts long. And you're like, "Nom nom nom nom." So well, uh, yeah, but, but but this one, I, I I knew enough about the the fact that there was a concept of this, and the issue was that uh, the this dude Ned, somebody on the subreddit posted pictures of him kissing this other girl at a nightclub, and that then from there, everybody sussed out that he had been edited out of videos that had been uploaded this week. Oh, wow. Uh, so so it was uh, workplace internal drama becomes public. Uh, so uh, apparently, Reddit. yeah, it was a producer that then was doing her own spinoff on their channel uh called food babies food babies where oh, she God. ate food like a baby what well, no, i think it's more of what happens <laughs> after the food yeah. when you get us the baby. baby yeah okay uh so is is a wife guy kind of like uh the the uh the the uh, I, I don't know what to, whether to call it a trope or a, a familiar story like the familiar story of like the closeted gay senator who is very outspoken about anti-gay stuff and then turns out you to know be, mm, yes. uh, uh, cousins on the tree yeah cousins okay. on the tree yeah yeah, yeah. like yeah. like the 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 closeted gay senator that keeps talking about his very healthy and amazing marriage and you're like and i love I my know. wife yeah I, I, and i love my and i and i love my wife <laughs> <laughs> No, no, go, I, go, I love my wife. Go, go on with your definitely wife. straight senator voice. Oh, no, I love I, this. No, I love my wife. No, that's the first thing I wake up in the morning. I say, "Hey, bread," and I love my wife. <laughs> we we now we now on C-SPAN rejoin. Senator, that was that was, that senator, was a self that was yeah. a, that was Sen a cell phone uh, goal. Uh, 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 I apologize, Senator Straight Man, uh, yeah. uh, Missouri. <laughs> R. Missouri, R. Missouri, please uh, interrupt. Uh, uh, is now going to continue his comments about the Supreme Court nominee. I uh, see. The thing about a Supreme Court nominee is I, lo I love doing it right. I love doing it right, like my wife. I love my wife. <laughs> uh, uh, New York Times. Uh, yes, the New York Slides. Uh, Bonnie, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 Wait, yeah. did, did, wife did, guy, wife is, guy alert! Is, is, is the hidden reveal that Brett exhibited wife guy behavior I on, the, on the show? I did. I was, definitely oh, did. Oh, he did. Uh, oh, yeah. Only, only one person uh, intentionally annoyed their wife and <laughs> had them hang up on Dude. them. Uh, you said a little. The healthiest. <laughs> you said a little defensive, if you ask me. <laughs> 
I don't know. So, uh, so, said. so drama happened, and yeah. uh, so he left. He, he he's he, out. He, so, so he's by out. The, they left BuzzFeed. They spun off their own not separate media BuzzFeed. company, right? Uh, and now uh, he's out. Apparently, so not only out, but but unpersoned. Like like uh, what what was the show that uh, that uh, Tom was telling us about on Court Killers, where they re-edited a, 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 a K-pop uh, group to like unperson one of the six members? Yeah, there was a girl group that one of the girls had left the group before they actually debuted, but they filmed a bunch of documentary stuff, so they ended up cutting her out of that footage. Like so, so there was some that, of that. that it's it's like uh, uh, we've always been at war with East Asia. Yeah. So so I don't know if if they're gonna go full Orwell and like edit him out of old shit. Because they, it certainly yeah. seems that uh, the, the stuff that I was seeing today was that they're selling track suits, and he was edited out of the track suit video. And then there was another thing where they were going to try the full buffet at a Las Vegas thing, and uh, uh, they made him go was, a la carte. They saw him. Not, yeah, he was he was not in it. And uh, but people uh, spotted him in Vegas when they were shooting it. And, and, and also yeah. there were there were buffet heads mm. that were like, wait, part of that buffet was left out of this. We try everything. They were zabrudering this. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. They're so much more popular than us. They are. It's so <laughs> fucking popular. It's stupid. So much more. It's so stupid. So much more. We're so I mean, better than they're them. They're the Beatles. We're a guy we're, like like <laughs> playing a one man <laughs> band in Kalamazoo. <laughs> like that's how much more popular. Uh, Jeff takes offense. He came here from Kalamazoo. Jeff's from Kalamazoo, actually. <laughs> <laughs> then you know exactly that one. You man know band Ted. Guy. See, He's, I was thinking that it was more of a Yuri Gagarin type situation. Yes, he was mm. shot into space. Yep. That's right. <laughs> Wait, Mark. what does that mean? I, well, well, the, the tri I, try, I tried to yes and out. this, but <laughs> like Yuri Gagarin. No, now we're here. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Go ahead. Go ahead. What, what about Mike and the what dog? About How Yuri, does that tie Yuri, in? What about Grace. Yuri, there what was, about Yuri there, Gregory? Yeah, he was, there's this guy named Yuri. <laughs> and he was a spaceman, and then they cut him out. Because, no, but what was uh, the joke? What was the joke? Yeah, I said, never mind. Come on, try it. Let's do it. Let's get the joke. I said the Yuri Gagarin him. Yeah. The Yuri Gagarin him. Yes, which... but I don't understand. What <laughs> if you keep did Yuri saying Gagarin it, also fuck another yeah. astronaut? I'm old, is what I'm saying. Is that I remember this? Uh, a lot he, of... he, he he fucked his producer. <laughs> he no. fucked what did his he producer, do? and he was a wife guy. And uh, no, what? he was a he was a an astronaut, a cosmonaut, right from the who, United States, from, no. from Russia. That where's was well that? Known. <laughs> <laughs> it's where the U.S. Oh, by the, by the way, used to uh, be. the betrayal of E.K. cackling and you torturing Brett yeah. is great. <laughs> my wife is off mic. Oh, now I'm a my wife guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Wait, uh, uh, but real wait, quick, no, 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 what, wait, was there wait, a, was there wait, a drama wait, about Yuri Gagarin? Well, there was a whole thing about the cosmonauts throughout uh, the, this. You know, were they a band? <laughs> Where when they would die, they would just cut them out of all the photos and everything, and they. Uh, would and where so, do they put the photos now? No, they, <laughs> well, I mean, you can see the photos with the people not in them. Yeah, the peephole. But where though? What city? Uh, Donetsk. Romansk. Stalin. Skonsky. Stalin. Petersburg. All right, Bryce okay. got another story. <laughs> Decepticon. <laughs> so, just uh, on, on the ride out to our production meeting, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Justin said the words, Hey, I don't know if this is a story or not, yeah. if it's like breaking news, but uh, I figured out why my car is shaped by a, like a Decepticon. I did. Pause that here. Fearless freep in the chat. In Soviet Russia, Guy wipes you. <laughs> See, that's funny because <laughs> you want to go back to it. Why is it funny, Brett? <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. Just Brett wants to tell us why it's funny. There's this guy in Branson, Missouri. Okay. So <laughs> I uh, did. I realized it today because the gym that I go to, I often park next to uh, people that go at the same time, and what kind they of people? drive human people. <laughs> And there, you said they're at the gym at the same time as you when you go to the as, gym. At me, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Most mornings at uh, six fifteen, I go to the gym, and that same car is parked where I park. <gasps> they took your unofficial assigned spot. Your favorite? No, spot. no, no. They put, had the parking spot next to where I like to park. 
Oh. So we often park next to each other. Like it's a very copacetic relationship. Neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. Flintstones yeah, yeah. and the Rebels. Exactly. Hanging out, going air quotes, going bowling. Oh, the fuck's that supposed to mean? Yeah, I don't know. They went bowling. Did you think that they were swingers? Uh, Did you think that the Flintstones were swingers? I know that. I know that Fred yes, and Barney were. lied a lot to their wives. They did. <laughs> they go to the what? The yeah. They were. Ne- club they or? were. They, they were. In fact, they were the apotheosis of not wife guys. Yes. They were not. <laughs> no. Wow, the fifties, a paucity of wife guys. <laughs> so, uh, so, so you pull up next to this other car. Yeah, and it, ha- uh, it is a gray Lexus. Yep, <laughs> I drive a gray Rav Four. Uh, Rav Four I, hybrid. I, I, I look into yeah <laughs> the all new Rav Four hybrid. I look into today the Lexus, you- and I see a shocking, shocking sight. It looks almost exactly like the inside of my car. Because Lexus is, is owned by Toyota. That's right. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. They, oh, are shoot, the, yeah. they are the luxury brand for Toyota. The RAV4 is, at least when you, for reasons that range between... It was the only one available on the lot, and fuck you, it's not your business. Uh, uh, Real. We got, we got sure. a fancy RAV4. We got a fancy RAV4. Cool. Uh, uh, here's the reason why. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Because the lesser RAV4s all have <laughs> the, the central, like, like the, the, the monitor thing. Mm-hmm. In, in the lesser ones, they had these thick fucking, like, 1990s CRT the be- monitor like the, the bezel things that the other ones were like the android phones of rav fours and i'm like and i'm like i'll fucking kill myself if i have to look at that wow i'd wow. rather spend whatever the difference in money is Mm-mm. to not have it judge me fuck you i'm judging <laughs> fuck you. you i'm judging fuck you. all fuck of you. you it was the decision i made about my life <laughs> all right wife guy this keep this anyway is, this is practically an unbroken monologue where nobody's got gonna- anyway <laughs> anyway i look into the car <laughs> and i see something that is shocking it is it's the exact same car that i have and then i realize this there's a reason why the outside of their car looks like a normal sport utility vehicle and the RAV4 hybrid looks like albeit a top tier Decepticon <laughs> who has morphed into his auto form but still a Decepticon at this point of the story I absolutely am certain I know where this is headed and I beg Justin to stop telling the story so that we can save it for the show at this point does anybody know what the reason is what the reason is why they're they why Justin's why car, RAV4 the Rav Four, looks, looks like a Decepticon? Uh, yes, uh, because it's the it's a cheaper car. Cheaper car look bad. Cheaper car look bad. That's gonna be my guess. Cheaper <laughs> okay, car look bad. okay. Good, 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 good guess. Good, good guess. guess. Show good me guess. cheaper car look bad. Oh, we're not gonna go around. Oh no, I just wanted to. Buzz okay, and, sure. Yeah. yeah. No. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, other one. Brett? Other guess. No, I'm not guessing. Uh, have I? All right. Do we need to have a talk? Oh. Did, did I go too far on the Yuri Gagarin thing? No, that's fine. That's fine. Because oh. you obviously are like, this is now a problem. A little butt it, hurt. I'm oh. a little butt hurt. It's affecting the show. I, you know. Can you please make a guess, <laughs> Bonnie? You're not helping off Mike. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I think maybe because the front grill does look more like a Decepticon. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You, uh, warmer. Warmer. I I look, look. Let let your mind enlighten. Look look at those grills. Look 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 at the front of those cars. Sure. So the the, the Rav Four is kind of a a, a, a sportier sort of a yeah. rugged sort of. You were to describe yeah. the, it, it, the front it grill. It looks the face. like the bottom looks like a Decepticon has abs. Like yeah, it is like cut. <laughs> it it looks like that. Like 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 it is little, the little like, like only the Decepticons cum gutters are it, are it, there it also, at the bottom. It also looks angrier than the yeah. Other cars. It does. That, all of that is correct. And that's uh, why it's not an Autobot. An Autobot would not have. Angry Angled lines, no. like it's definitely a Decepticon. Uh, yeah, Bryce, uh, uh, I think I think he'll get it if we find a front-on image of the Lexus. Uh, I think you'll see it because uh, uh, I uh, I definitely noticed it. Uh, uh, but we'll, okay. I, I don't know if we'll get there. Any any other guesses? Oh, Bonnie, Bonnie? Gonna, come here. Bonnie's gonna guess. All right, All right. get on up here. 
Everybody, body brush. Body brush. Body brush. All right, so I'm thinking the Lexus is for girls and the RAV4 is for boys. Show me girls. Oh, no. Body brush with ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, so we do have the front on. Here's uh, the front on. Uh, Justin, yeah. may I make my guess? Please. Your car looks like a Decepticon. Yeah. Because the Lexus looks like a Cylon. <laughs> you were so confident. Please, oh. Am I right? <laughs> no. No, Price was right. Oh, fuck. Oh, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A Cylon. A yeah, Cylon. Well, well, look, uh, like uh, uh, a few years ago, the first model, like if you look at it, it looked like the old toaster Cylons from the By 1970s. Yes, 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 yes. Bryce, the, 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 no, no, I was just, I was just saying that I have a, I bought the tiny baby brand for children, <laughs> and even though I bought the more expensive one and I have all the guts of the other thing, they sure. had to make it look dumb like a child would buy it, so <laughs> they could protect the brand of the Lexus, where they're like, yes, no rich people, I'm driving this to my Aspen condo yeah they do that i yeah. i'm only here to drop off something for my maids that live in my aspen <laughs> condo i'm i'm off to go buy a car for my wife for christmas that'll be wrapped in a bow <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're recording a commercial for nfl sunday Br bryce do we have another story <laughs> yeah <laughs> Bryce is tired. <laughs> uh, so, I, I, the way this show has progressed, the level of aggression that this show has demonstrated, I don't so know if we can even do this topic. <laughs> this is going to be so bad. <laughs> you know what? Let's just make it real short we'll and sweet. So, uh, so, <laughs> yeah. so we started the show, if you're watching live, we started about 10 minutes late today. Yeah. Which yeah. I, and I, yeah. that's on me. Hey. Uh, just that's me. Right. That on me. Why is it on you? I was tired. I fell asleep <laughs> today. I fell asleep in the middle of the day and uh, woke up when I realized I was like an hour late to go to the studio <laughs> to set up the start of the show. Right. But it's great to hear that somebody's getting some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? You know right. what, Brett? You know what's really fucked up? I, hope I fell asleep. Is I fell asleep because I only got like three hours of sleep last night. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Bryce, I, I speculated uh, uh, while we were doing our pre-show meeting that uh, uh, when you sleep, you have a very peaceful and cherubic sleep. Oh. And you have, you have your, your, your hands yeah. under your sweet little yeah. head, yeah. And, and you go, me, 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 me. <laughs> and as you do it, as you do it, uh, a little, like one, one cloud by one cloud escalating becomes a little dream bubble and then slowly fading in is a Taco Bell taco. <laughs> <laughs> and then right next to that is the amount of dream points you get <laughs> for dreaming about a Taco Bell taco. And then it just goes back to your sweet little face and you go, me, 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 me. Yep. Confirm or deny. Confirm or deny. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I've I've told before. I don't really. I'm not much of a, a dream. I don't dream very much. I'm not a dreamer. But I mean, if I you were, I dreaming. If I was, if I could control it, I would dream about Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. If I could, hey. I would. Yeah. But uh, no, I uh, just fell asleep in the middle of the day. I I popped one of the tires on my car yesterday in the middle of the podcast. Oh, you're too tired. Now, yeah, well, I was three tired, uh, to, to be honest. And uh, fuck all of you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna smash bread in all your faces in the middle of the night. I'm the bread man. You were right. Listen, this is getting my tail wagging all crazy. You're gonna wake up to see red lights, <laughs> and I'll say, "Tell go to sleep, little boy." <laughs> I'm the bread man. <laughs> bread man. Go to sleep, little boy. I'm the bread man. <laughs> You'll but, never escape the terror of the bread man. I'm the bread, bread, blue, 
Oh my god! No, 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 no! You do, you do the sad version of the scat man, <laughs> <laughs> like in a minor key. I'm the scat man. <laughs> Cut to a bunch of teenagers like, oh, come on, man. It's a ritual. We always sleep in the mattress factory one night. <laughs> I'm the exactly. What's the matter, babe? <laughs> you afraid of sleeping with the red light on? <laughs> well, I love my wife and I love Taco Bell. <laughs> And I don't think that there is a as a Michael Myers. <laughs> yeah, harried scientist. It, it's somewhere after uh, infants not sleeping, but before I need a glass of water. Dum dum Patreon.com slash great night is where you can go. To keep this show loud, live, and independent, we support you, uh, so support us. Uh, <laughs> Take it from this little boy, the best bread. <laughs> yeah, just any more jokes you remember? in the trash. <laughs> if you want a good night of sleep, go to Patreon, give us money, you freak. <laughs> Bring on the bread, or else you'll be dead. Tails wagging all around in your head. Taco, taco, (laughs) taco. That's all I got. Exit bread (laughs) in your head. (laughs) Give us money. (laughs) Patreon.com slash great night. (laughs) Woo! Where are you getting all these skulls? Where are you getting all these skulls? Oh, well, that was coherent. (laughs) Bryce, do we have a game? (laughs) We do have a game. Uh, This is a game I'm... uh, not, it's not exactly a game. We're doing a bit. We're going to do a little bit of a bit. I call it... Ooh, a bit. I'm good. I'm glad we needed more free Finally. <laughs> We're going to do a bit. I, I uh, am tentatively calling the Asshole Debate Club. <laughs> yeah. This is the greatest episode of Great Night. <laughs> The greatest asshole, night. Asshole, <laughs> asshole. The we- Asshole Debate Club, or as it's colloquially known among teenagers... Debate club. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys familiar with uh, AITA? Am I the asshole on Reddit? Intimately. Yeah, no. yeah. And that's where people post a story and they say, I am a 33 year old man and I uh, stole my wife's bath. Am I the asshole? <laughs> yeah. But, there, uh, there's, there's a lot of like family drama on there. There's a lot of like. A lot of wedding oh, stuff. I, I, yeah, I, I'm gonna get married, but my mother-in-law wants a deep up the. Am I the uh, bad uh, guy? More or am specific, I the bad guy. Yeah. Oh, oh uh, 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 hi. I'm, I'm, I'm a 31 year old female, and uh, uh, my 55 year old <laughs> mother-in-law uh, wants me to wear a pecan dress because it was her grandma's dress. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, my father died of food poisoning oh, no. from a pecan sandy, oh, and no. I refuse to wear a pecan dress. <laughs> am I the asshole? And on, on the Am I the Asshole forum, <laughs> you can either pick you're the asshole, yeah. not the asshole, not the asshole, or everybody sucks here yeah. because you believe that everybody oh. has a problem. That's right. That's right. And so, uh, so I've pulled a few of these. So we're going to uh, uh, read these out. We'll, we'll talk about them all as a group. And then at the end, uh, I'm going to make uh, Brian and Justin, I'm going to make you take opposing sides. One of you being you're the asshole. One of you being you're not the asshole. <laughs> By the way, like 12 points for pecan dress. I don't know yes. where that came from. I don't know. Pecan. Why can I read a lot of my, am I the asshole? It's not That's pecan. literally, that's like some shit that's just <laughs> on there. <laughs> Our first story, the Pecan Dress Chronicles. No. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we're, we'll, we'll read through these stories. At the end, Brian and Justin, I'm going to have you uh, debate club style, make a very short argument either. Okay, pause or, before we go. Yes or no. You think we can pitch the bread man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the bread man. I feel like that's a good trailer. 
Bryce, continue. And uh, so you guys are going to get just a very brief amount of time to make an argument that they are or not, are not the asshole. And then our Twitch chat is going to uh, vote while uh, uh, Brett, if you don't mind, maybe coming up with a little bit of commentary while the chat votes on uh, on the story here. Maybe Brett's take. Brett's take. I would love to do that. But, but you have to come in very sassily. Like, like, yeah. like, mm. like, well, you've heard them, but here's Brett's take. Here's yeah. Brett's take. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Mm. A lot of that. Just I'll, like Doug mm. Llewellyn used to on People's Court. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the audience. Oh, my God. That was, that was a deep, deep cut <laughs> that one person he very much that. liked. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was like she just bit down into cake. It was amazing. <laughs> we have fun here. <laughs> we have fun. So here's our first story. Uh, we'll we'll decide who's on which side after we kind of talk about okay. it. Okay. Uh, this is eight hours ago. Am I the asshole for eating the last slice of cheese crust pizza instead of my brother? Ah, uh, <laughs> you should have eaten your brother. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> In is this, lieu of is this trending crust? on the hub? <laughs> you don't know which hub? No. Oh. Nobody out <laughs> horns the hub. <laughs> it's not delivery, it's the hub. <laughs> Am I the asshole for eating the last slice? Double stuffed <laughs> meat pizza. Oh Nobody out horns the hub. <laughs> What is what's the little Caesar one? Bigger, better, faster? No, so, it's pizza pizza. Pizza. Okay. Uh, am I the asshole for eating the last slice of cheese crust pizza instead of my brother? I, a 24-year-old female, always wake up really early, like 8 a.m., and I usually go to the gym at 10 a.m. And I go back to my house at around it's all of our stories combined. <laughs> And I usually go back to my house at around 12 noon, and I don't eat breakfast because it makes me nauseous. But the other day, my dad bought pizza, and the next morning, when I went back from the gym, the pizza was still on the counter. So I reheated, and 10 minutes Whoa. later, my brother, a 28-year-old male, comes screaming that, Why did I eat the cheese crust slice since I eat more pizza yesterday because he wasn't home? And I just said to him that, Why doesn't he come down more early? Or I'm not having a wow, stroke. This what? is uh, they they really let it go in the bottom half of this post here. Uh, uh, and I just said to him, well, "Why doesn't he come down earlier?" Tells me what's a, so. Uh, uh, am I the asshole because I ate the pizza, or is am I not the asshole because I ate the last pizza? Who am I being assigned to? Because I feel like we're 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 we're, we're being assigned to yeah. different clients here, right? Uh, do, do we want to talk about it first before we? Oh no, I'm I'm ready, uh, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, I, I would like to be assigned by the court. Okay. Uh, then. Uh, uh, Brian, how about you take the not the asshole, and Justin, you take you're the, the you're the asshole. Yes, you're right. the asshole. Uh, Brian, uh, 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 prosecution. Oh, so I'm saying she's an asshole. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Your Honor, you work hard for the money. <laughs> <laughs> you work hard for it, honey. You work hard for the money, and so you better under the law. <laughs> Be treating right. My client tried to have a good night's sleep <laughs> and eat pizza for which he had brought out of the fridge and left for himself. <laughs> and what did he find when he did that? Nothing but broken dreams. Why? Because the asshole oh. ate the pizza. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Gummy style. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> Brian, your rebuttal that they are not the asshole. Ah, <laughs> uh, you deferred. Your Honor, I move that we dismiss on a technicality because yes, my client is. An asshole, but it's not for eating a slice of pizza. It is for being a juvenile baby in this forum on Reddit. Move for dismissal immediately. Oh, uh, you're 24 years old, lady. Yeah, she is 24. What is she doing wait, between wait, should 12 she, and noon? Should she be doing more or less Redditing at 24? She certainly shouldn't be sharing this story and asking internet strangers. Are you aware to of how Reddit works? That's the entire point. <laughs> 
that's it is what, a, that, that's the lifeblood of. I mean, you think fifty year olds are are sharing their shit? I already? know exactly how it works. You double click on net zero. <laughs> 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 the robot makes the sound <laughs> and you pretend to have friends. Move for dismissal. <laughs> Let's go to Brett's take. Brett, well, what is your take? a stunning development that's happened here with Justin claiming that the brother's asshole ate the pizza or <laughs> wanted to eat No, the sister's asshole. The sister's while asshole. the uh, sister is obviously a little bitty baby and uh, <laughs> does not understand the concept of sharing pizza with her sibling. Yep. There we go. We've opened up the uh, the vote to all of our chat room here at twitch.tv slash night attack. Make sure you join us here on Tuesday nights to join the live uh, live show. Get in the chat. And uh, uh, we're, we've got about 30 seconds all left on the Reddit, vote. The home of civilized discourse. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Where I, the I, founding fathers would hang out were they but alive today. I, I will say that for Reddit standards, uh, uh, Am I the Asshole is actually not terrible. Yep. Like I, I, I've actually seen very thorny subjects on that board, like wrapped up. There was one that was like, like seemingly a person saying like, I don't know why all these people in my house are acting so strange that people were like, I think that there's like a serious, like molestation thing. Oh, happening. Christ. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like wrapped up and like, it was healthy. It was like, a, you would imagine that somebody who went to somebody in their family, there might've been entanglements. Strangers on the internet handled that really well. So I actually do uh, want to stand up for the Am I the Asshole board. All right, with our chats vote in, we've got it 20, uh, so, excuse me. I eliminated all the comedy? Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank God. Don't all worry. the comedy, yes, it was too it much. Down, bro. <laughs> Fuck yes, it. No. It Stop it. A serious conversation only. Go ahead, Bryce. Don't worry. I didn't pull any of those Am I the Asshole stories. 77% uh, of the audience said that they are not the asshole. Ah. Yeah. Wait, so I lost? You lost. I just got paid right. in karma. I guess Reddit yeah. karma. You can spend it on avatars. Can you? Yeah. I thought the avatars were paid. And oh. gold? No, wait, no. You can't oh. buy no gold. Yeah, you can buy money. Uh, uh, you, you gotta pay uh, gold. You you can. Uh, there's nothing you could do with it. Reddit gold. That's true. Okay. It doesn't do anything. Your Honor. Yes. We're ready. Okay. <laughs> Next this case. I'm fucking case pissed. Go ahead. <laughs> Do you think go that's ahead. No! No! No. Go ahead. Am I the asshole for always leaving when my mom starts eating? <laughs> this is from 11 hours ago. My mom eats quite loudly. I'm not mad at her for it, but she simply makes loud chewing noises. The thing is that chewing noises really, really annoy me, especially when it's been a busy day. Uh, they make me uncomfortable. Sometimes it's as bad that I start scratching my arm out of frustration. I actually have a scar from that since uh, since that moment. I've been trying really hard not to scratch anymore. My mom doesn't know about this, though, but she does know that chewing noises make me uncomfortable. Uh, whenever she starts eating something that uh, when she, excuse me, whenever she starts eating something that makes that much noise, I almost always go out to my room when she asks why I do. Uh, when she asked why, I do admit that it's because of the noises, but I've never gotten mad at her for eating in the living room. The only time I was annoyed towards her was when she came into my room while chewing something. Um, during dinner and breakfast, I just deal with it and when we're watching TV. But anyway, my mom still gets annoyed when I leave because I'm overreacting and that it's rude towards her. Oh, this is a real roller coaster. I, I, uh, she who, also, who, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, she also seems uh, to see it. As if I offended her personally, which is not my intention. So, am I the asshole for going to my room whenever my mom starts eating? Who are we being assigned to? Uh, Justin, you're going to be not the asshole this time. And Brian, you'll be, you're the asshole. You'll be yes, the asshole. Uh, sir, go ahead. Ah. <clears throat> uh... <laughs> you are thought, uh, your honor, my client is, uh, short-sighted, uh, mm. not a very good communicator, uh, but not an asshole. She has hurt her mom's feelings. True. She has probably... Uh... <laughs> nope, that's all I got. <laughs> not right. the asshole. You have, Move for dismissal. You have one half of an argument for Justin's side of the case. <laughs> oh, yeah. wait. No, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think the evidence speaks for itself. 
She is an asshole. <laughs> you know what? Not the worst legal defense you could probably get in this country today. <laughs> Justin, uh, I think he set up. He set a pretty low bar for you. Can you beat? Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, come on. Try, try to defeat that. Objection. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh, All right. No. We are losing subscribers by the <laughs> second. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> wow. Jerry Brockovich over here. <laughs> that, oh. that water came from her pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got to have the good water, too. All right, we've got the poll open for the next 60 seconds, but what's Brett got to say about it? It's a very interesting case, Bryce, that we were talking about. Uh, about a daughter's <laughs> negative <laughs> misophonia over her uh, uh, who can't open up to her mother about her mother's calamitous mastication. So we'll see what happens. Mastication. I feel good about that one. Uh, and so we'll see what happens next. Oh, here there, here comes the jury back. No, you have to. You have like another 30 more. seconds. We've got to fill more time. <laughs> and now <laughs> Justin and you, I this will was, be singing uh, together. You, you can look on the screen <laughs> until you see numbers. You have to keep talking. Oh, I didn't realize <laughs> that. I thought I was being clever. And then I went to the song. I, I, can, I can cover. <laughs> this, was a, uh, this was a more popular thread than the last one. The last one only had about 12 upvotes. This one has about 470 upvotes. So wow. A little more popular. We do have the votes in. 89% of the audience said not the asshole. That is a <sighs> well played, point. sir. What the fuck? It was you your threw brilliant... him under the bus. Uh, uh, oh, no, no, did, did I win? Yeah, you, you won. won. I won. I won that one. Okay, go, so go, it was go, a go. fair trial. Fair trial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hat tip to the jury. <laughs> like Thank I'm, you, like, I'm like I'm, like I'm, fucking Derek Jeter in '98. <laughs> All right, next one. This is from about seven days ago. This is very, very confusing because there's a lot going yeah, on. I, I would imagine that in general, public defenders only do defense <laughs> and prosecutors yeah, only do prosecutions. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's pretty weird for them to show up and judge because just Because also, we're not, we're not mm. doing like, like who was it? Like the son or the daughter or anything. It's just you're the asshole, not the asshole. Yeah. You forget. All right. Yeah. All right. On. We're ready. We're All ready. Right, we're back on track. Am I the asshole for feeding my dog table scraps from a dinner my boyfriend made for us? Ugh. I, a 24-year-old female have been dating K, a 28-year-old male, for four months. He is handsome, smart, funny, well-educated, has an awesome job, and is a sweetheart. On Sunday, he had a whole day planned for us. We were going to go walk a nature trail and then go back to his place for dinner, uh, for a dinner that he was making. I was so excited because it was going to be my first time at his house. Since we were hiking, he said I could bring my dog Shelby with us. Oh, hi, Shelby. He made us a roast and some vegetables for dinner. I finished my plate before K did and took it to the kitchen. There was still about half of the roast left, and it was close to Shelby's dinner time. So I took half of the half of the roast. Whoa. And some. Oh, this isn't even table scraps. This is. Shh. Shh. Right. Go. It's called discovery. Shh. It can't... <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the process. Shh. It, uh, 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 it, it was about. It was close to Shelby's dinner time, so I took half of half of the roast and still some raw vegetables from the fridge to put on a plate for Shelby. I was carrying the plate to the back door with Shelby to feed her outside, and Kay asked me what I was doing. I told him feeding Shelby. Kay said something like, "Well, that's not dog food." Kay knows I mainly feed Shelby a raw diet. I opened the door to put the plate down for Shelby, and Kay got up, took the plate away from her, went to the kitchen, and came back with it wrapped up in tin foil. And asked me to leave. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Oh. <laughs> Actually, uh, so many assholes. Oh no no no! <laughs> no, I, I, <laughs> oh, I got dance. it either way. I got it either way. <laughs> Let's go. I got a handle either way. Uh, Your Honor, his uh, his excuse was that he made dinner for me and him, not yeah. me, him, and my dog, and Wait, that I should have asked. Dude, can I get the two names? Shelby. Shelby's the, is dog. the dog. Shelby's the dog. And Kay is the boyfriend. Kay is the boyfriend. That's and 24-year-old right. female is the protagonist. 24F. 24F, that's right. 
Okay, thank you. All right, and so uh, uh, that he made it not for me and him and my dog, and that I should have asked before helping myself, since he would have used his leftovers. <laughs> what the fuck? That's right. I did leave, but not before telling him that he made a meal for us, so I could do with some of it as I pleased, and he knew damn well how I feed Shelby. What? I tried talking to my friend about it later that night, but she said Kay was right to be upset, but this friend has never really approved of how I treat my dog, so I feel like she was probably a bit biased. Am I the asshole for just feeding my dog like I normally would? Uh, Your Honor, Your Honor, I request to be the prosecution on this one. Uh, <laughs> I'll take not the asshole. I'll right. take not the asshole. Then uh, Justin's going to be not the asshole. Brian will be you're the asshole. Brian, uh, prosecution starts. Uh, Your Honor, celebrated uh, members of the jury, that lady... Uh, it, 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 this is the equivalent of somebody being pulled over for a moving violation and confessing, confessing to be the real killer. O.J. Simpson, uh, yeah, we got him. Uh, and it's, a, it's, it's her. Was that and, how we caught O.J.? <laughs> <laughs> Was that how we got him? No, I, I, he, could, he could finally be at peace. Uh, uh, rest in his peace ghost can rest. All right, uh, the, uh, uh, so, so, so here's the thing. Okay. She, she says... He knows that I only feed my dog raw food. Last time I checked, a cooked roast is not raw food. Wow. You took that out of the, 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 the serving area, not off table scraps. Mm. This has no precedent. There's no, nothing you can hide behind. And then you start being all catty about all of your friends. I'll, I'll tell you this much. The question is not, am I an asshole for doing this particular thing? The question is, am I an asshole? And I don't know whether you're an asshole for giving half of your boyfriend's <laughs> pot roast to your dog, but you're definitely the asshole for all the other shit you said. Your witness. All right, and... Uh, big, big response from the audience in the courtroom today. They clapped. They clapped. When the jury claps. It's tough. It's tough uh, to come back from that. Download that app. <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no. Gentlemen and ladies of the jury. <laughs> 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 fuck, Brian, you're... Yo, Brian, you're Can I here. please explain to you the bond between a woman and her dog? They are truly going through life. A single young woman. Soulmates. Your Honor, Ready? objection, no, objection, objection, you. mansplaining, objection, mansplaining. At, 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 at. Go Over ahead, explain to us what it's like to be a 24-year-old female. Overruled, Brian, you're a man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brother. As I was saying. <laughs> Making her way through the complicated world of the dating scene, she finally finds a man that she believes she can trust. Someone that she can trust just a shred closer <laughs> to the dog that she is with every single day of her life. Somebody that knows that she is worth something. And in her moment of vulnerability, when she goes to that man's house, when she goes on that nature walk and she believes that they are finally going to come to a simpatico at that moment of vulnerability, he yanks it all away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, it's very simple. If the leftovers weren't at, you must say yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, object, 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 object your honor, at, objection, this is a yet. kangaroo court, that is a forced rhyme, using a different language, this whole thing is a sham, <laughs> objection. All right, well, we've got our arguments in. <laughs> Well, let's find out what uh, what Brett did. Not it relied on mispronouncing e. If it's not et, you must say, say yet. yet. <laughs> From a southern lawyer explaining what it's like to be a twenty year old. Now, y'all, if you're not saying yet, uh, nah, then you're not gonna get it. All right. Uh, well, let's find out what Brett says in Brett's corner while the uh, the the judge. The <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, delivered. it's a very interesting arguments that came from both sides over a 24 year old woman being more concerned about a spoiled cur than enjoying a well made meal from her boyfriend who just wanted to use his love language to spoil an ungrateful sub quarter century person. <laughs> 
We'll see how this goes. Is, is that what you think of 24 year olds? Do you walk down the street and you're like, ungrateful sub quarter century yeah, persons? Yeah. Do, you, do you look at. <laughs> so when, if you walk down Congress and yep. you see somebody, uh, a, a young woman walking down with her dog, yep. you say, hey, you sub quarter century <laughs> person and you're her? Yep. And there's her cur. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm, I'm of the age I that I can here. do that. I'm of the age that I can do that now. So I've heard of curbside delivery, but this is ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> All God. right. Boo! Yeah, that's that's yeah. Boo. Boo this judge! Boo this judge! <laughs> <laughs> All right, those votes are in. 59% of the audience said. Oh. They are the assholes! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. You're on Mark Furman's side. You're all on Mark <laughs> Furman's side. I just want to let you know. Congratulations, <laughs> Furman Fan Club. All right. Uh, let's see. I think we've got one last one here. Oh, yes. We've got a great last one here. And this is going to be worth <laughs> points because we're, we're doing points, I guess. Um, uh, uh, gentlemen, I've got an asshole for you. <laughs> oh, bring it on! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I really? submit to you the hey, title Christ. of the episode. <laughs> Boy, do you have an asshole for us. Boy, bro. do I have asshole on my face. <laughs> <laughs> this is from about six days ago. <laughs> go, just go, 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 just go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Am I the <laughs> asshole for yelling at my boyfriend to stop adding spice to my food? <laughs> so I, so recently I, a 30-year-old female, have been staying over at my boyfriend, a 31-year-old male's place more. We've divided up some chores, but he likes, uh, but one thing he likes to do is cook. Uh, he is a really wonderful chef, chef, and all of our friends enjoy the dishes he brings to parties. Whereas I will admit, I don't know my way around the kitchen and have never taken the time to really dive into it. Uh, this is uh, fine, because he cooks, and his meals, you, but, but they usually include too much heat. He cooks with a lot of spices and sauces and peppers. Mm -hmm. I've asked him time and time and again to tone it down since I can't handle the heat, or at least add those last so he can still have them, but then maybe my dish will be fine. He says this will ruin the dishes and they won't come out as flavorful and be really lackluster. And that uh, adding the spice at the end ruins the balance of the dish. I finally snapped the other night and yelled at him to stop making hot dishes I can't eat. And he told me I was always welcome to cook my own meals if I wanted. I don't see why I have to cook if he's already making the meal. He can just mm. add less spice to it. That will add so much time to my night when he's already handling that chore. So, am I the asshole for yelling at him after I call not spices? the asshole. I call not the asshole. Okay. Um, uh, am I the asshole for yelling at him for after adding too many spices too many uh, times? And uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 Your Honor, this is a simple open and shut case. case uh, mm. Take two. Uh, this is a simple <laughs> We're doing open great and shut case of somebody uh, digging themselves a grave. It's not your fault that uh, this person or this person, I, I turned to the witness. It's not your fault that you don't like spicy foods, but it is your fault that you yelled at your spouse or uh, partner. Partner, uh, it, partner. It, it, uh, 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 it's not your fault that he's firm in his commitment to excellent cuisine, but it is your fault that you're still in this relationship. Oh. Uh, it's oh. not your fault that you're incompatible with this person and clearly in a toxic re relationship. It is your fault that you're, 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 uh, you're, you're staying here. Um, I demand, uh, uh, look, you know what, lady, here's your, the retainer that he, you probably paid him. Uh, uh, get out of here. You're the asshole. All right, there we go. Uh, to the defense, we go to Justin Robert Young. Justin. This <laughs> poor white woman. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Shit. whoa! whoa! Uh, ob ob obje objection! <laughs> As a sensitive tummy, <laughs> a car for which rejects the devil's herbs, <laughs> the spice, the cumin. <laughs> Keep going. The habaneros uh -huh. being added into her food. All she wants. Objection, to do Your is Honor. He cannot name five more spices. He, he can't. He can't name five more spices. In ten seconds. That's Nine. not a legal thing. It's, not a, it's overruled. Go ahead, Justin. Naming five more spices is not a legal standard. Five, four, Just, 
Three. What are you counting? Connie's helping you. <laughs> Cinnamon's one. Uh, see, I told you, Your Honor. Anyway, uh, uh, continue. Your Honor, it's uh, objection. Just, he couldn't count to one. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know the argument. Justin, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> this capsaicin caper <laughs> has well gone done. too far. Well done. <laughs> For as all she wanted to do was bond, all he wanted to do was burn. <laughs> burn her stomach, burn her mouth, burn her poor asshole, for which she is not in this story. <laughs> The defense rests. <laughs> oh, I feel like, wow. Oh, I feel like you really had a good argument. It's a, like, you yielded the lily just a little on the end there, I think, maybe. I don't know. All right. Oh, okay. So, everyone's a critic. It's like, it's like the Southwest Airlines flights lands and then just decides to take off for a little bit longer <laughs> and land again a little bit rougher. <laughs> well, maybe if I didn't get interrupted in the middle, so I could name hey, more man, spices. Look, that, that's the name of the game. It's Night Court. That's right. <laughs> oh, Night Court. Damn it. Fuck shit. <laughs> All right. We'll call it that Your next time. Don't try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we've heard from the prosecutor and the defense. Let's hear from Brett while the audience <laughs> votes. Okay. Uh, this is obviously a caper about a 31-year-old male uh, making a meal male. fit for everyone else but this poor woman who can't handle something with heat. It's obvious she's been coddled by Good bad answer. parents who Thank have you. no interest in the joie, joie de vivre of life. This poor gastrointestinally challenged 30-something will have to decide if her asshole is the asshole. Uh, from the chat, if the dish is hot, you must have quat. <laughs> 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 All right, the votes are in for the final vote of the evening. And to see who wins it, <laughs> law, 73% uh, of the audience said... Uh, Bum, bum. Oh. Not the asshole. Yes. yes. That's a White Justin. people. <laughs> They're very sensitive about he. You know I need to They're give very you. Easy. We need to switch. <laughs> what are they? You get the pin, and I give you that. You give me the hat because obviously you need the, the senator's pin, and I need the. Uh, the oh, black homie, I'm just doing hat. that shit for pay. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, uh, that's it. Congrats to Justin, who won at the law today. Yay! Uh, Nicely uh, done. Uh, Bryce, dare I say even, this is bordering on spinoff worthy. The asshole's court. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, when it's, two it's, people it's, are having a dispute, but <laughs> and yeah. they cannot get satisfaction through the law, <laughs> they turn <laughs> to the <laughs> internet. <laughs> the <laughs> asshole's court. Uh, uh, done. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, if you've got an idea for a game, please email it to us, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes with all the information. By the way, in our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv, we just opened up a couple of new forums, including one for podcasts. So uh, we'll have a new Apologizes for thread in there and a new Six thread in there. So if you'd like to contribute to some of those regular games, uh, check out the Discord, because now there's a place for you to put them at any, at any time. You don't need to email them. Uh, and tell me that you emailed me. So there you go. Great. That was, that was, that was, that was very subtle, Bryce. <laughs> saying go. stop emailing me. Stop bothering <laughs> me. <laughs> it's it's it. it was as subtle <laughs> as uh, the, the, the prisoner in Korea who is blinking out the word torture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, got it. <laughs> you got it. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> uh, Brett, what have we learned? We have learned. Are we Are we going for that? We have oh, learned that Brian is a good, night. good little boy, according to his wife. We've learned that sometimes Jada begets Bada. I don't know what that is. And I've also learned that, oh my God, I am a wife guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, that's that's all I got. That's all we landed, then we took off again, and then we landed again. <laughs> Come on. Hey, man. I don't know about you guys, oh, but uh, this has been an amazing night. And one for the record night. books. Uh, shine on you, Crazy Diamonds. It's been a great night. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> we, we landed. <laughs> we took off. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 
Yeah. And also, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. We love you guys. Bye. You <laughs> keep me alive. You help me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Okay, go for it. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>